Hey folks, Kevin, Jennifer Thoman here, and uh, got some scripture we want to read. Wanted to share for a few moments uh, what God's been doing, not only in our marriage, but uh, in growing us as not only leaders, but spiritually uh, as one in our family, in our marriage certainly. And uh, so let me just read for just a moment here. 1 Peter 3, 3-6, three through six, it says, Do not let your adornment be merely outward, arranging the hair, wearing gold, or putting on fine apparel. Rather, let it be the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible, incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is very precious in the sight of God. For in this manner, in former times, the holy women who trusted in God also adorned themselves, being submissive to their own husbands. As Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters you are, if you do good and are not afraid with any terror. Um, my wife and I have a unique uh, story, how we came to meet each other. We were over doing foreign missions and uh, over in India. Uh, actually, we met in London at Heathrow Airport, and then uh, over the next few days, kind of cultivated a friendship, if you would say. But our mutual attraction to one another wasn't physical at, at the very onset. I like to think it was the, the curls I was doing for the girls and all that sort of stuff, <laughs> or in her case, the girl. But uh, it really wasn't that at all. Um, but Jen, she lost her luggage for about four days, and so more like seven. Well, really. whatever it was, it was <laughs> it was a long time, and so let's just say frumpiness was setting in a little bit. You know, the mm -hmm. Lord was doing a work in her life over there. I had been there two years earlier, had the Lord do a work in my life, and He put her before me. I got to watch this individual get broken down by the Lord, and be used uh, powerfully. Uh, over the span of about a week while we were in India mm -hmm. and uh, no matter what she was wearing or whatever it was this godly adornment that I kept seeing him clothe her in mm -hmm. uh, as he was just breaking down her heart working within mm -hmm. and you know I even said on the way back on the, the flight back that was probably the, the the best cheese moment you could have mm -hmm. ever mustered but I, I you know I said something to the effect I don't care how beautiful you will ever are in my eyes the day that you came before the Lord was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Mm -hmm. During that time too, the Lord was working in my heart and I think the last part of, of the scripture that we shared um, after that moment, because he was such an integral part of my transformation um, that the Lord was doing during that time, I actually kind of started putting him in the place of Jesus. So he was leading me um, in our first year of marriage excellently, um, but I kind of put him in place of Jesus and um, we had a pretty rough first year of marriage and I think um, the scripture you know just identifies that um, you will not be or you will do good and you will not be in terror you will not be afraid if you put him first in your life and God certainly has used Kevin in my life as a spiritual leader um, the scripture just hits it on the head that it's not always about the outward appearance and um, kind of what we're doing outwardly, but what is going on in our own hearts and um, really obeying scripture. You know, 15 years ago, we get celebrated our anniversary last year, or last month, I should say. And, um, you know, 15 years, it's been up and down. Mm -hmm. It's been sure, surely filled with its its moments of, of uh, us not leaning on the Lord as mm -hmm. much as we need to. And, and that probably defines uh, our relationship uh, more than anything in our love for each other is where we're at in our hearts for the Lord. Mm -hmm. And when we're starting to stray, when we're starting to put our eyes on the world and the, the, the finer things of this world, um, we're told mm -hmm. in, in, in 1 Samuel, man looks on the outward appearance. It can be a deceptive trap for any of us, no doubt, but um, it, it's a litmus for us. You know, Where is our relationship with the Lord? Mm -hmm. It's going to be driven and, and seen outwardly in our relationship one with another. So mm -hmm. I just want to encourage you guys in that. We're preparing for Valentine's week, obviously. Uh, with these scriptures mm -hmm. and hope you're blessed just by hearing our story but just know again as you lean on the Lord as you learn to continue to trust in him watch not only what he does in your life personally use it use that opportunity of putting into practice God's word for the betterment of the marriage and uh, enjoy its fulfillment uh, the way God had intended for you